Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today is not going to be a makeup tutorial. Wow, who is she not filming in a makeup tutorial? This video was actually highly requested by you guys. Tons of you guys have sent me Snapchats, DMs, um, right here on my comment section asking me to do my infamous it's actually not really um my cute half up half down ponytail this is third day hair so these are the hairstyles that i like to rock when my hair is it's due for a wash but i just want to stretch it out a little bit more and yeah i'm going to show you guys the products that i use the styling tools that i use i'm also going to be showing you guys how i lay my edges now keep in mind i am not a professional i do not lay edges for a living i do my own edges i just started doing them i don't know not even a year ago so i am still new i'm still learning and keep that in mind but i think that is it you guys this is going to be a quick and simple tutorial a how to do a cute perky ponytail with tons of waves on your hair and obviously with your baby hairs later so if you guys want to see that make sure you subscribe to my channel stay tuned and turn on your little bell notification so you never miss any of my videos i do upload three times a week that is monday wednesday and friday so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this hair tutorial <laughs> We're going to be using this three barrel waiver. I actually got this one from Amazon a few months ago and I love it so much. But before we do any of that, let's protect our hair. It is so important to protect your hair. <laughs> My hair is singled. It is so important to protect your hair because you're going to get less damage and less breakage if you treat your hair nicely. And I must admit, I am not the best, but I do try. So now that I have kind of like um, an idea of what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and just pick up my hair and a half ponytail. Honestly, like I never do my hair or my parts super pretty. I usually just use my fingernails. And yes, I have like two broken fingernails. Um, I'll just take my fingers and just run it through my hair. It really depends and it's up to you how much hair you want. I am going to smooth out a few bumps just right here that looks pretty good to me yeah that looks pretty cute so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to wrap my hair in a regular schmegular little hair tie and I personally don't like to tie my hair too tight because um, I'm not used to having my hair up in a ponytail and I get headaches really bad and really easily because I just always have my hair down and I don't know I guess my hair is just not used to it and I do like my ponytails to be a little like cute and perky so I bring them up like that I call these like the Selena hair vibes because literally that's what I get Selena hair vibes so once I have that I am going to go ahead and just start crimping my hair and honestly I don't do it perfectly because since I already have some like natural waves, some natural texture to my hair, I'm just going to add a little oomph to some pieces that are not looking so great. So my wand is on or my barrel is on. And again, this one's from Amazon. I really, really like it. Hey, wait. Ah, it gets hot, so be careful. I'm just going to take random pieces. And I do take pretty big chunks like this because I'm lazy and... I don't want to sit here doing my hair forever and again I kind of I'm kind of going for that lazy hair day like I tried but I didn't really try look like I just kind of woke up like this but I kind of did it you know and I do like to leave my ends like a little bit straight so I don't curl them in all the way and I don't leave the barrel on for too long because I'm scared that it's going to like wear my hair off. So I'm going to see what pieces need a little bit of TLC. Like this piece right here. I'm just going to crimp it more towards the end. Since I have my natural waves starting here. 
and this stuff gets pretty hot so you honestly don't even need to leave it on for that long and as you can see it crimps your hair and because this is third day hair like I don't really care if they stay on for too long because I'm more than likely gonna wash it within like the next day or two the next step that we're going to do is fill in the hairline I always do this I am very self-conscious about my hairline especially on this side I have a huge okay it's not huge but it's a pretty big bald spot and I don't know if that's because when I was younger like in middle school I used to want to be cute look cute for the boys and my sister would do my hair at night she would do these little like ponytails do you guys remember back in the day you used to do a whole bunch of ponytails all over your hair I would sleep in those and my hair was like I had a freaking like um i don't know what do you call that a facelift because my hair was so tight so i don't know if it was years of doing that but yeah my hairline is definitely very thin but it can also be genetics so for my hairline i like to use the juvacur hair building fibers this is actually for men and women and this portion of this video is sponsored by juvacur i have been using hair fibers for quite some time now ever since i discovered them it's literally been the best thing ever it has changed so much the way that I feel in my hairline. Um, I used to do it with eyeshadow, but eyeshadow can be very messy and it would not stay still. So we're going to use this to fill in the hairline. This is a jumbo size. This is only $21. So if you suffer from like bald spots, reciting um, like lines, or if your hair is too thin from the front, you just want to add some color to your hair. This is really, really good. This is actually keratin fibers. So it's just going to adhere to your hair and make it seem like you have hair obviously this is not going to prevent um hair loss or anything like that it's just to fill in the ball spots which is what i have like all through here if you guys hear noise upstairs it's lonnie she got some skates for christmas she hasn't taken them off since christmas day so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to start here where i have the most like balding and all you do is just apply it to your hair and then you pat it so and you just want to apply it till you pretty much don't see any more bald spots. And I'm just patting it down. Do you guys see what a difference it makes? Like, huge difference, at least for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this hairspray. This is by Mark Anthony. This is not my favorite hairspray, but I like to use it right here because it doesn't give me too much hold. It's just enough hold for the fibers not to, like, move or do anything crazy. So I'm just going to spray my edges okay I brought you guys up close so you guys can see what I'm actually doing so my favorite gel for laying my edges is this one right here this is the source cough I think that's how you pronounce it the got to be glued styling spiking gel this is water resistant this stuff is no joke your baby hairs will not go anywhere I have to take mine off with my makeup remover which are my like oils and I have this brush this brush has came in clutch when it comes to laying your edges because it just makes it so easy. I apply a little bit of the gel and then I go in with my brush. I go in with this side and I just start swooping my hair. I hold it down and then I will swoop it back. So I'm going to take out this hair from here. Apply it to my edges.
now that I have that, I am going to go back and I accidentally dropped some of my hair fibers. That's okay because I'm actually going to use a brush like this and I'm going to pick some up in my brush. It is the weirdest thing. I wish you guys could see it in person. It literally looks like somebody shaved their hair and like it's the fibers of the hair. It's weird. Anyway, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and then just fill in any gaps that I feel need to be filled in. I was going to cover this. Actually, I might because it's a little too much. But the sun is finally out in Utah. Yay! So I'm going to finish off this. Okay, that's going to bug me. Hold on. Much better. Okay, so to finish off this super easy hairstyle, I am going to take the SGX NYC, the Peacemaker Beachy Texture Spray. This one is from Walmart. I picked it up a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Oh my god, I've been loving it. And I was looking for something that was going to add texture to my uh, hair without giving it that crunch or leaving it too hard. And this is perfect and it smells so yummy. I'm just not a fan of the way that this sprays. It's like a little harsh. But what I do is I'll just take the hair. Oh, this smells so good. And I'll just kind of like move my hair around to give it a little bit of volume. Really quickly, the last thing that I'm going to do is grab some hair from like the bottom strand of the half ponytail. And I am going to wrap this around the hair tie so you don't see the hair tie. And I'm just going to take Oh, a bobby pin oh I know I'm gonna get a headache and there you have it you guys this is how I do my half ponytails this is how I lay my edges and this is how I fill in my hairline because lord knows I need it <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this quick hair tutorial this quick hairstyle thank you guys so much for joining me today again i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you are take care and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.